Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is episode 112 in the Throwback Thursday series I'm doing using old makeup. Not oogie old, just not talked about old. And today is a special edition because I'm collabing with my friend Erica, Erica Conger here on the YouTubes. She started doing a Throwback Thursday series as well and asked if I wanted to collab with her on a Throwback Thursday. And I was like, heck yeah, sign me right up. So we were chatting about it and um, I think she suggested the palette that we're using, which is, in case you were wondering, <laughs> the Natasha Denona uh, Retro Palette. This is the MIDI version of it. Um, and so I said, what do you think about us choosing shades for each other? And like, where to put them? And she said, sure, that sounded fun. So that's what we're doing. I'm really excited and I'm being attacked by hairs. Hold on. It's sticking, my hairs are sticking to my skincare because, you know, that's what they do. I'm this close to shaving my head, I swear. Okay, anyway, I sent Erica a detailed text on what and where, and she did the same. So I'm just going to tell you real quick so I can focus on the makeups and not the directions. She said to use a part, which is this right here, on the outer V nude mauve to blend that out and through the transition area and then jude on the latter half of the lid and hello right there on the inner half of the lid and then a bit of rebellion for the lower lash line and I can use some nude mauve to blend that out and then she said psychedelic on the inner corner. So I am very excited for this. I like genuinely, legitimately, I'm super excited. I really enjoy the challenge of someone saying, okay, do this and seeing if I can make it work and come out close to what they had envisioned. So hopefully I'm doing this the way Erica wanted and I am so excited to see her video. So I'm gonna stop yammering. My eyes are primed per use. I'm gonna whack on some shadow shield, scoot you in and start putting on the eyeshadows. All right, here we go. I'm gonna use my Refer 12. It's like a giant pencil brush, but I think it's gonna be really good for this apart shade. And that is go oh, going out here and I'm going to kind of wing it out a bit as my winged eyeliner, if you will. Oh, that's really pretty. We're going to assume you can hear puppers. Shay's not allowed in here right now because she tries to destroy my plants. I think I'm going to find some foster care for them so she can come in here because I feel bad. Like she's a good kitty. She's just a baby and wants to wreck things. But I really like my plants. The one behind me right there, his name is Petey. My sister got him for me for my birthday a few years ago. And I just, I like him a lot. And in my world, all the plants are boys. I don't know why, but they are. Um, she tried to take out my pothos, which I named Porthos. It came from the one of the arrangements for my dad's service. And I propagated them one in soil and one a bunch in water and they're doing so good so you know i was able to save them and then i have rufus which is a curly spider plant that my youngest granddaughter gave me for easter 
last year, I think. Two years ago? Maybe it was, maybe it was two years ago. Anyway, um, yeah, so I really love the plants, which, you know, it's whatever. But I don't want to value plants above kitties. You know what I mean? That feels weird and selfish and not good. So I need to find good homes for my plants. All right, I'm going to bring this in just a little bit more. And then we'll move on to the next shade. Okay, this brush is perfect for the formula of this eyeshadow. Okay, now we're going into new, Nude Mauve on my Refer 13. And that is going to go... Well, that's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Well, we're just going to blend and blend and blend. That looks so light in the pan. Also, my skin has not seen sunshine in a very, very, very long time. So I'm super duper pale. Okay, this is gonna work. I'm just gonna get this blended through my transition area. Erica and I both have hooded lids, so we do our makeups similarly. Though I did copy Kitty one of her looks once, and hers was beautiful and ethereal and just kind of like a wispy and pretty. And I ended up looking like the dude from the Fighting Irish, um, like, I don't know what you call it, ads or whatever. You know, he's got his dukes up and he's ready to fight. That's, that's the look. I ended up with nothing like hers. I used the exact same eyeshadows, the same placement. It's just interesting how you can, you know, take something super similar and completely change it. I'm gonna go back in with the first brush in the first shade called Apart and just, you know, fuss with the blend a little bit. And then we'll move on to the shimmer shades. Yeah, that's blending perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna take my Singe Beauty E01 into the shade Jude, which is to go on the latter half of my lid. Oh, that's pretty. Ho oh. ho. Wow. Wowie wow wowzer. That's gorgeous. I have, you know, quite a few eyeshadow palettes, so I don't use all my palettes that often. And I can't remember if I've used this shade or not, but it is so pretty. Holy shnikes. I'll boot back over the edge where those two shades meet with the other brush. I just want to get this on. I'm cleaning off that brush on my handy dandy little nano towel. And which for the record is always linked in the description box if you want to check it out. And now we're going to go into Hello on the same brush for the inner half. And because my eyes are hooded, I have to take the shade up higher than my actual crease. Those are so pretty together. Oh yeah. All 
point, I'm going to just spend a couple of minutes blending the shimmers together and the shimmers into the apart shade. I'm going to pop off camera, do all of the other bits. I'll come back and we'll probably do the lower lash line and the inner corner together. Why not? All right, I'm back. Uh, my face is on. So let's finish up the under eyes and the inner corner. I'm going to take Rebellion on my Refer 03. Yep, just a little pencil brush and that's gonna go under my lower lashes. Hoping I won't get any fallout. I did get a little bit from the other eyeshadows, but I was definitely not being careful. That's looking pretty cute. Yeah, okay. That's the under eyes. She did say I could blend out with a little bit of the nude mauve shade, but I don't think I want to. I like, I like the way that looks. So I'm going to take my magic motor brush. I don't know what this is, but it came in the kit and I love it for inner corner. So I've wet it and now we're going into psychedelic. This is a very sparkly shade. So, I don't want to get any fallout. I also definitely picked this shade for Erica. I cannot wait to see her look. It's going to be so cool. That's cute. All right, I'm going to quickly throw on some lower lash mascara and then I'll come back and zoom you in for an up close look and then we can wrap up episode 112. All right, that's the finished look. Let me scoot you in for an up close at the eyes. I think it's pretty darn good. I really think Erica did a fantastic job choosing colors to go together. I really, really like this look. It's super neutral, but really cute. I think that the kind of maroon burgundy lower lash line gives it a bit of fun. I think it's pretty cool. And that is episode 112, done and dusted. If you're wondering what else is on my face, I'll tell you now. Um, and if you don't care, hopefully I will see you in my next video. And don't forget to go check out Erica's Throwback Thursday video. I cannot wait to see her look. On my face, my foundation is the KVD Good Apple in, I think it's 18, late 18. My concealer is actually a couple of things. I'm using the Colored Rain Skin Sticks in 210C as my like inner corner, not inner corner, but like in here. Uh, concealer, and then I'm using a bit of the pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie in LP2 as my concealer everywhere else because I'm so pale that none of my concealers are light enough. My setting powder is the same, the e.l.f. and the Too Faced. My buffing powder is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. It's the latest buffing powder I have right now. So that's what I've been using. I like it. It's fine. Nothing particularly amazing or anything about it. It's just decent. My bronzer is, or my contour is a new one that I got in the Sephora haul. So I think I'm going to wait to show you that until I haul the things. My bronzer is the Run Beauty in Blazed. My blush is the MAC Melba. Anytime I do a super super neutral look and I want a toned down blush, something that just looks pretty without being like in your face, I, I love this Melba shade. I think it is so, so good. My highlight is the Jaclyn Hill Iced. As human beings go, she may not be the most amazing, but this highlight is so good. I just, 
I really like it. My lip is the Jeevious Place Liner in Cola, and then my XO Beauty Lipstick in Matu. My mascara is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. It's pretty much my go-to mascara if I'm wearing falsies. If I'm not, then it's the Cleo Kill Lash and the One Coat Wow. Those are my faves. And I believe that's everything. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.